In 1859, Charles Darwin set out his theory of evolution by natural selection. A controversial theory then, it's now known to be true. I'm Emma, and today we're learning about evolution. Evolution is a change in the inherited characteristics of a population over time. For example, these plants have purple flowers at the start but over many years, they may evolve to have blue flowers instead. Evolution happens by the process of natural selection. This theory states that all species of living things have evolved from simple life forms that first developed over three billion years ago. That's nine zeros. It's a long time, but remember, this is making every species. Okay, so you need to know the stages of natural selection. So let's break it down. It starts with mutations. These are changes in the DNA that cause variation in a population. Most of the time, mutations don't do anything and just go unnoticed. But very rarely, they can cause a new phenotype or a new characteristic. For example, a mutation could cause this caterpillar to be brown rather than green like the rest of the population. This might be bad news because he stands out to predators, but maybe there's a change in the environment. For example, if there was drought, the leaves might be brown as well. Suddenly, Bean Brown's looking pretty good, as he's really camouflaged. So if this new characteristic is beneficial, the individuals are more likely to survive and breed. When this happens, they're going to pass on that beneficial allele to their offspring. This will happen again and again until all of the population possesses the beneficial allele. We say that the population has evolved. If two populations from the same species become so different in their phenotype that they can no longer breed successfully to produce fertile offspring, like the green and the brown population of caterpillars, we say we've got a new species. Okay, let's try some quick questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go over them. In the theory of natural selection, where do all living species come from? They have evolved from simple life forms that first developed over three billion years ago. Two, how likely is it that a mutation will lead to a new phenotype? This is very unlikely. It doesn't happen often. And three, Describe the process of natural selection, and you can use bullet points. Well, first of all, mutations cause variation within a population. If the new characteristic caused by the mutation is beneficial in the environment, then the individuals that possess it will be more likely to both survive and reproduce successfully. When they do this, they pass on the alleles for the beneficial characteristic to their offspring. How did you do? How did we end up with so many breeds of dogs? It's all down to selective breeding, which you can learn about here. And if you're finding these videos useful, please subscribe for more. Thanks and bye!